Hello, it is I, the one and only Dragon Simmer Reese, back from that as it were, bringing you all some more Cobblemon. In the last recording session, we got ourselves a Shining Horsey, which is currently off the party, because we've got our work on EV training it. Um, we also got our green apricorns going, so quick little update what I did off screen. All our apricorns perfectly fine perfectly aligned it's cool it's amazing you have every apricorn you don't have to worry about it you see that right there so the plan is to get a farmer villager here maybe even two of them i have one bed there i might get a second one um i don't know if they could manage these types of crops but either way they're about what the villager for more aesthetic purposes uh that would be a late game goal once we get a few buildings built but we have a bunch of farms uh this one's going to be the uh speed mints these ones are going to be the attack and special attack mints these are going to be the defense special defense mints and these are going to be the normal mints uh these sort of like neutral mints now um you can't get more than one seed back as you see like i'm breaking it i'm, I'm only getting like a singular seed like, I'm getting multiple, obviously, like, of the plant, mind you. It's, you know, great, fantastic, love that. But that means we have a lot of mints to gather in this part. As I said at the end of the last part, that this recording session is going to be primarily gathering a bunch of mints. Um, I did replace one data pack with another. Um that affects the shiny Pokemon. And the best place to showcase that, first of all, I caught a Chikorita. A Chikorita spawned, I saw it, I caught it. I was like, you know what, screw it. Um, I think I might try to offer some of these to my cousin, I don't know. But a shiny Patra also showed up. And what we have installed right now is called the Cobblemon Shiny Effects version 1.1. I can quickly actually get the more specific add-on data. I believe it is made by a person by the name of Dice Dom, at least on Discord is the original poster of it. Um, and basically what it does is a shiny sound effect will play when a shiny spawns and there should be a chat message that says the closest player to said Pokemon. Um, also, you know, there's a nice little like, ding, 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 and it's not the constant shiny sparkle effect, but you know, I, it, it's nice. It, it, it's fun, okay? I enjoy it. Uh, I replaced it with the other one, which I forget the name of the other one. Um, I haven't done it yet. The first three parts have been uploaded and I actually haven't like put a model list slash data pack list down in it. I'm probably going to work on that over the weekend. I'm, I'm dating the video right now because right now it's December 1st. That's probably ain't going to be played. This probably video ain't going to go up to like the mid of December, maybe even late December. We'll see. Um, but yeah, there's, there's things we need to still do. Uh, oof, we're losing daylight. We're just gonna go out now and start collecting mints. We can just find them out in the wild. I think I saw some. Yes, I did. There are some mints over yonder, which is fantastic. These are actually mints that we need, which is the Scion mints, which if we search up mints in GUI, the Scion ones influence the special attack stat of a Pokemon. Um, and we need a bunch of them. More specifically, are these, this influences the attack stat. Okay, good, good, good. So we already have most mints minus the speed ones. Um, let me, so we need 28 of each seed, but I want to check how much of the other mints we have have currently we're not 28 we need 14 of each seed 28 of the speed one and then more of the white one but we, need, we have one two three four five 
So we need 9 blue and 11 pink. 9 blue, 11 pink. 9 blue, 11 pink. Just type that out. Just so that way we can remember. Uh, we're going to put that there. Um, I don't think we need any tools right now. So we're going to pull that off. We're going to put a shield on. Well, actually, let's keep the shield off until we actually need to go into combat. And we will continue looking around for some more mints. You know, we found a bunch of those mints really early on. And I was expecting maybe to find some more while just running around. And I have definitely seen more. Um, now that I know what I'm looking for. But... Now I'm trying to, like, notice them out in the wild that aren't the berries, which... Maybe they don't spawn in forest biomes. I ain't seeing any. Which then makes me wonder if maybe they spawn in plains biomes? I don't, I don't, like, I, I feel like in a biome like this I should be able to, like, like a savannah, for example, I should be able to just spot them easily. So maybe we backtrack back to the meadow slash plains and continue searching around there. Yeah, I don't think any really spawn out here in the savannah so maybe it's like only like plain slash meadows because i think now that we're coming i even like already see some i think over there no those are flowers never mind i'm stupid but like hmm like they were so close to the base you know it was just like oh wow I was like, was like, oh wow, this is this would be easy, and I'm immediately like, ha ha, no, no, this won't be easy. Because why would it be? I kind of recognize this building from my hardcore, my very short hardcore. Series. I'm not short because I die, but short because I never really continued it. Ah, okay, so there's these little, like, I think this is, like, the first one time I've, like, seen, like, berry farms in the village. Well, at the very least, I never noticed them in, like, other villages. Which is interesting. Um, there is a bell here. I'll have to keep note of that. Hmm. Again, it's now a thing of... Where do these mints spawn? For example, those right there, those are obviously berries. Maybe we should check out our meadow biome a bit more. Because it doesn't seem like forests really spawn the mints. Maybe we lucked out by being in a meadow? And that's how we were able to find those mints because like... I don't think I've seen like one since we left that area. Hmm, peculiar. Very peculiar. And like, see, like we we're here. I'm already, like, I'm already noticing the freaking mint. Which is like, makes me curious. What type of biomes do these like typically spawn in, you know? And I'm actually curious if maybe if I bone meal, like the ground will potentially like more bud sprout or will it only be like grass or whatever, you know? 
but also like if we can only find these types of plants in like meadows I'll use like the most of those Um, fill in the meadows, have these, like, you know, I might as well just like scrap, scrape together most of the ones that are in our biome. I wonder if any have naturally spawned inside of the cherry grove. Let me look around the cherry grove for a bit. At the very least, from like my perspective right now, it definitely seems like the only biome we found these mints in have been like one, two, three, four, five. We didn't find any speed mints, which is a bit disheartening. But also, we only need one more blue mint. You know, like, like I said before, it is kind of like it is what it is. And at least we have some. But I definitely do enjoy my plus speed natures, I am not gonna lie. I wonder if it's an elevation thing. Um, I'm gonna wait until night. And also, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn. I don't know. I, I I can't like. I love the look of it, like on my side of the screen. But then I look at my freaking like preview, that like right next to my my other monitor, and I'm just like it, it's like oh my god. And I still haven't had the chance to confirm whether or not it's actually like affecting. The legitimate video or the screen preview is its own thing because I just haven't gotten to the part of the videos where I've like noticed it majorly and I've brought attention to it and I probably won't for a while I mean again we get to play around with distant horizons a bit which you know is nice for example we can actually see that pillager outpost since we actually loaded in the chunk okay um, there is a place I want to check out while we're like doing this stuff, you know? And it's this stony peak, so we're going to create a temporary waypoint and we're going to head on over there. And this might also maybe try to confirm my hypothesis of maybe mints are elevation based? Because the areas we were looking at before were at a lower elevation. Because it's like, I don't know the specific details in a lot of the videos that I like looked at. Try to figure out like, oh, how does he spawn? This, that, and the other. Like, it just, they weren't there. <laughs> so high up, in fact, I think we're going to hit the peak. Yep, we're in Stony Peaks now. I'm curious if anyone besides me has been up here yet. Um, because I know that Beldum can absolutely spawn here. It's just a matter of whether or not they will. But at least the resource I look at says Beldums can spawn up here, so. Um, also another type of ore that can spawn here that I want to keep a lookout for. Just to, like, see if... It's here. It is a Dawnstone. Apparently has a good chance of spawning in a like stony peaks biome. Um, use Emerald. Let's grab that over here. Well, wow, fortune didn't activate. Oh rolls. Can't believe it. Um uh, let's check this side. I just want to see if there's like a Dawnstone like just exposed out here. I 
I do kind of like the fact that, yeah, yeah, you can, like, see... Oh my god, Distant Horizon is such a cool mod. Like, I know it's not, like, the best, like, quality, like, further out, but, like... The fact that I can see a lukewarm dock over there... Oh, amazing. In fact, can I, like, see my house from up here? Yeah, I can. It's over there. Oh, it's just loading in all the chunks, however. I don't want to load in chunks right now um like they were like in a meadow we do have another meadow biome over here we can go and check out a temporary waypoint we can actually just straight up delete this one here delete there's a cat somewhere here And I don't know where, and quite frankly, right now, I do not care. Because we gotta get to that waypoint. Um, but first of all, we should probably go to the lukewarm docks. Because again, I don't want to load too, too many chunks, because I am planning to add a few mods that might add additional resources underground. And I want at least areas that I haven't explored for sure to, like, know that, like, okay, these are going to be, like, brand new chunks. Okay, no, those are berries. Again, I'm seeing a lot of berries here in the savanna. The more so the was the savanna plateau is different. But still. I'm gonna keep an eye out for mints. They've definitely seen mints in Okay. Savannah biomes can indeed hold mints. I don't know, maybe they're just like a lower spawn rate, maybe? In general but i felt like I, we found like so many in the beginning you know towards like the meadow which is the reason why i'm heading to another one god i love distant horizon i can like see like a village over there and a few other things oh god i love them. i, I love, love, love i love <laughs> i don't keep on gushing over the mod but i just love little mods that just help like i don't know like enhance the exploration factor you see like i'm like curious like i want to like actually now like look around the savannah now that i've like seen it but we are on a lower elevation now Damn, i should have looked at the elevation we were at for those mints to like see if that even mattered or if like that was purely coincidence yeah because those were like the only three mints that we found there the funny thing is i'm like pretty sure we like still have the horsey KO streak going uh so there's still a chance that we can actually get a horsey here another shiny horsey wow I just hurt myself by like pricking on my thing so another reason why we're doing um, all this work to try to, like, get all these mints is because we need the EV training items. Then that way I can finally utilize my shiny horsey. I want to make sure we have a stack of torches because we're going to get over there. And it's going to be night. And I know I'm going to be loading the new chunks going to the savannah, but... Or going to this Nick new meadow. But... Kind of need it if we want to finish off the mint farm. And we still need speed mints. We haven't found any. Which one's speed? Is it green? Yeah, we haven't found a single green mint. Not a single one. All right, and now we're here in a brand new meadow. Oh, pink sheep, nice. Hmm, look at that, Some more pinks. Even though we feel like we need, yeah, we need red 
and cyan and green i think the yeah this is, we don't need any more blue i think that was like the last bit of blue that we needed there And again, we're in a meadow biome, like, hmm. Also, it's kind of nice we can actually see the Ponyta's, like, Galarian Ponyta's, like, hair and mane. We weren't able to do that with the shade as much because they just, like, you know, glowed very brightly. Really? Blue? Ugh. what i just realized we're missing green mints and green apricorns were some of the hardest ones for us to get for some reason not because we couldn't find them but more so like because the seed was just not dropping for us huh Makes me curious if we'll find any. I see more blue. Oh, it's not the green I was looking for. Ooh, is that some cyan? Cyan? How do you want to pronounce it? Yes, it is. There's a meadow if we wrap around. There's another meadow. Okay. Let's go head over there. Okay. Oh, I was like, wait. <laughs> okay, we got some green. That's good. And again, it's in a meadow biome. Um, let's grab some more red. Are those berries or are those? Those have to be berries. They're, they're too big. I, I noticed them right away. Wait, but are those mint leaves? That might be a game changer. No, they're... They are... So they do spawn in planes. Okay. Oh my god, a cherry grove. Holy shit. Oh my god, a goat. That's my first time seeing one. All right. Yeah, hi. Um. Huh. This one's a lot bigger than the one we have at home, which is good. Because it means I actually just will have one now. That I can go to and do specific things with. Ooh. A lot of spiders. All right, and it also looks like mints do spawn and cherry grows. Maybe mints do just spawn everywhere. I was just being very unlucky when I was out into the forest, service lagging. I hope it doesn't crash. Okay. I'll probably never use those, but still. Okay. Blue is done. 
red. We didn't need as many as I thought we needed. Zion. That there. And good old green. Okay. We got a good amount of mints. We even have some extra seeds in case any of my friends need any for certain types. Um stuff it all in there, put that there, put that there. We need torches to go there. I'm just gonna put these seeds in there for now. Uh great balls, ultra balls. Up there. Alright, next is uh power. Okay, get the power items. So we need specifically the anklet, which we need blue concrete. <laughs> Wait, it's actually how. What do you make concrete? Okay. So I need a blue dye, sand, and gravel. Uh, blue dye shouldn't be too hard to get. Jesus Christ. I mean, like, good that we got some, but also, like... <sighs> Again. <laughs> I can't believe I thought, like, oh, there's no... There's, there's no mints. In this biome? Oh, fucking stupid. To be fair though, I am in an elevation higher than 100. However, now that I'm thinking about that, I think I see some mints over there. At the far, far distance. Where's those berries? Those are berries. Those look to be berries. Which again makes me curious if the mint spawning is Y level based. If they have a chance to spawn at certain Y levels. But you know, I guess we'll see how it goes. Alright! Got a little process going on here. Mm, mm, mm. Um, check out the power items again. We need Scion and the green. Scion and green. Okay. Okay. I also need diamonds. Which we have plenty of. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, the diamonds are placed. Okay. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Hey, we have the power lens. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Oh, I need light blue concrete. I'm an idiot. Okay. First and foremost, the power anklet. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, bop. Okay. Uh, bop, 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 bop. This should be defense. No, this is special defense, right? Yeah. This one will be defense. This one's obviously attack. And then we have that. And we have all the net. Up. We have all 
the necessary power training items. Oh my god, that makes things so much easier. Um, however, uh, what I need is a chest. And we are going to put these items in here next to our bed. Let me go to first start with the power lens. All right, so I believe that is a great place to end off today's video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like down below. It helps me out greatly. I don't have any boots on. Well, today we explored a lot, actually. Like, let's look at the map. Well, let's step outside and look at the map. Like, we explored a good freaking chunk. All this right here. Like, that's insane. So much to the point that I kind of want to, like, fill out this gap here. And maybe like this gap here. But like, holy shit. Like that we have a giant like jagged peak slash grove biome, the memoir meadows and birch forests and taigas and the possibility of it connecting back into the original snowy taiga is just like, I don't know. The world seemed like a lot bigger when I was started like over here, crossed all of this past that went over the ocean when in reality like we're still tech we might we might be part of we still might be part of the same continent that we started in which is insane however um i'm going to train the shiny horsey ev train it uh off camera just for the sake because just for the sake of time i don't really want to do it on camera because that, that takes no, 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 I can take a bit of time. Actually, I just realized, are like... They are. Huh. That's a future project down the road. I didn't realize that the EV training, like, vitamins were in the game. And that they were makeable. Hmm. Hmm. Things to think about. That uh, probably means we have some more... Um, freaking mutations to work on with berries. But uh, yeah, until next time, peace.